Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here and I am also known as ETCG1 on this channel and I start things off on ETCG1 with, hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, please enjoy this digital confection that I found for you on the internet. It's sugar free, it's fat free, no calories, eat all you want. When you get older that becomes important. I'm responding in today's video to some comments that I've seen that have said, hey Eric, what happened to that 2008 TL that you did all that work to a while back? Well, here's the update and today is November 12th, 2021. So it's been a couple of years since I've had it. I'll admit I haven't put a ton of miles on it uh, since I got it, but the miles I have put on it, I have enjoyed very much. In fact, I will say, I, you know, since having this thing for a couple of years now, the best investment that I put into this car was replacing the tires with those Michelin tires. You cannot go wrong with putting Michelin tires on TLs. I, I'm straight up. It's the best investment you will make. So yes, it's a $200 car that I bought, but I put $600 worth of tires on it and I have zero regrets about that. So if you have one of these cars and you don't have Michelin tires, you don't really have one of these cars. As far as you know, the way it runs and drives, I really haven't had any complaints, but as I said, it's, it's been doing a lot of sitting. In fact, that's why it's the way it is right now. Because it sat, the uh, rotors got rusty. So when you go to move it after that happens, what can happen is there's a brake pulsation and this has a brake pulsation, which I'm hoping to address today. I have a brake lathe, I'm just gonna cut those rotors. Now, I know they're drilled and slotted rotors and I'm, I'm just, it's kind of an experiment because you're supposed to chamfer all the holes and do all that stuff. And yeah, I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm just gonna take off that one layer that's causing the pulsation and well, see what happens is pretty much where I'm at. As far as any other issues it has, it is overdue for a maintenance and that's my fault, but it doesn't burn any oil. There was, well, let's say a half a quart of oil in, well, since I did the last oil change. So really not a lot of oil burning at all with this engine, which is surprising and a welcome surprise at that. So I'm not too worried about the engine or the transmission or anything in this. They both seem to be operating just fine. It's just the, the brakes that I'm concerned about at the moment. I occasionally get that light for that loose gas cap, which I know is a small EVAP leaf somewhere that I'll deal with at some point, not something that I feel is really pressing. I also have uh, some small issues with the memory settings, the seat memory and all that kind of stuff. Every once in a while that goes out and gets goofy and, and I hear that that's also an easy fix and I haven't looked into that because again, that's like a small thing that it doesn't affect how it gets me from point A to point B, so I don't really care that much about it. My youngest son has been driving this car actually quite a bit uh, because I gave this car to him to drive while I worked on his uh, the 2005 Civic that I did the head gasket and all that other kind of stuff on that was his so he was driving this while I did all that work and he, he likes the car but honestly it, it the gas mileage kind of sucks especially if you put the proper premium fuel in it it's going to cost you at the pump for sure this thing. Uh, but as far as cruising on the highway, he calls it the highway car. He drove it up to Cedar Point last summer and he, he loves driving it on the highway because you know, it's smooth, it's, it's fast, it's, it's just comfortable when you're out on the road like that. In fact, that seems almost like what it was built for. It's, it's very good when you get out on the highway and start cruising. However, one of my main complaints with it is the turning radius. I think it absolutely sucks. You can turn that wheel all day long, but you never seem to get enough angle out of it to make a tight turn. And that's just, well, I guess, the nature of the beast. But if those are my complaints, eh. But what I love so much about this car is I don't really have to care about it. You know, the, the appearance of it obviously isn't all that great. In fact, I'm taking it this weekend to Indianapolis and I'll be parking downtown and stuff. And I love taking this car because nobody gives it a second glance. It runs perfectly, starts up and drives and all that kind of stuff. But the fact that it's rough and ugly means that people don't pay attention to it. And it's also a quite a common vehicle still uh, that's around today. So that's why I like using it for things like that. My daughter's competing in the band competition this weekend in Indianapolis. And Congratulations to her on that and her school. As far as plans for the future for this, my thoughts are, well, now that I have that platform that I can drop subframes with engine and transmissions out of Hondas and Acuras quite easily, uh, it'd be nice to see if I could do it on this one, maybe drop the engine and transmission out and go over it and you know, redo the suspension and all that other stuff in the front, uh, you know, fix whatever leaks or anything are there, all that kind of stuff, and I don't know. And it, just to play with the new tool that I made, that's really what I'm focused on. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, that's the update on the 2008 Acura TL, running strong. Buy Michelin tires if you have one. That's the best advice I can give you. Other than that, I will put links in the description to additional information, including some of the other videos that I did with this car. Also a link to ericthecarguy.com, which is where I ask you to go if you have automotive questions. Well, viewers, as far as an update on how the TL is doing, it should be parked over there next to the Civic, but it's not. Why? Because it's dead in Indianapolis, actually just outside of Indianapolis. 
I was there for the weekend, as I mentioned I was going to do. I was on my way home this morning, and it literally just died right in the middle of the highway. Well, I had enough momentum to where I got it off onto the shoulder, put on my four ways, called a tow truck. Luckily, I got one at 6 in the morning in Indianapolis. Had them tow me to a gas station where I have to go and retrieve it later this week. I was about to sing the praises of the TL and how it hasn't really caused me any trouble. And here it is, leaving me broken down on the side of the road. I should say me and my wife broken down on the side of the road. My youngest son came and got us in uh, the Civic, the very Civic I fixed while he was driving it. And that thing ran great. So <laughs> Civic's good, TL not so much, but that's the update on what the TL is doing. I'll get it back here and figure out what's wrong with it and get it fixed at some point, but I'm not too worried because as you can see, it's snowing and I'm about to finish the pilot and that's all wheel drive. So I'll drive that. I can, once I get the TL back here, I'll park it, just leave it. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember, I post videos on Monday, so stop back and see me then. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.